My loves, my manifestors, I intend and affirm you guys are doing well and doing exactly what you should be doing to manifest the life of your dreams. I affirm that you are aware of whatever you're allowing in your awareness because that is fundamental to conscious creation. And of course, I affirm that you guys are all safe and healthy. Okay, before I jump in, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you think you could do with some personal assistance and guidance with your manifestations on your journey then you can mail me and I will help you detect your blind spots so that you can get your manifestations, manifest your desires as easily and as effortlessly as possible. I kind of said this sentence without goofing up and I'm pretty proud of myself. Okay. Now this is a client success story. I usually do not post videos on client successes because, primarily because I know that it could encourage you guys but then more often than not when I discuss this I have noticed that people tend to get paranoid and feel that they are probably doing something wrong that is precisely why their specific person is not here yet this is a specific person specific video okay so yes so uh, it's about specific person now and that is precisely why I do not post the success stories at all I mean I think the, the last one that I posted was um, yeah, the last two that I posted was uh, manifesting an apology and uh, getting the SP back and removing third party. Yeah, so, but then today I really felt called to do this. So she's a client of mine. She booked a coaching. It's not even a month yet. No, it's not. So I think in a span of uh, 10 days or two weeks max, she actually manifested contact from her SP and she manifested a version of him which was better than what she had expected this is precisely why i wanted to make this video today what happens is when you focus on yourself on yourself it kind of works like magic it has to work like magic okay now, the entire process of conscious creation or even unconscious creation, even if you're not consciously creating something, it's all about your thoughts. Now, when you are a conscious creator, what happens is you just know what thoughts to think. Okay. Now, my job as a coach is to tell you exactly what you should be thinking. When I open the first, uh, when I like, revert to with my first mail it was a email coaching stuff so the first thing that i tell my client is this is exactly exactly in caps what you should be thinking from this moment no questions asked this is what you should be thinking from this moment and then i kind of get on it's customized it's completely personalized right so the point being, having said that, if you do not know what to think, then you will probably confuse yourself again and again and again. So the entire game, the entire game is about choosing what to think. Okay, that's the game. So you have to choose what you will think, what is making you feel good. And if you are struggling with that, then I would suggest you book a coaching because that's going to kind of change your life for the better it's going to kind of change your concept of self for life and this is a life lesson okay so which is going to kind of really really help you not just with manifesting a specific person but with everything everything okay now now this is i was listening to a video on create your future you, you guys may want to watch that and um, I don't remember her name right now. I'm so sorry. Okay. So she was saying something like this is quantum science. So yes, it is. It is quantum science. Man, conscious creation is quantum science. So you don't need to understand that. Of course, you do not need to understand quantum science to manifest anything in your life. But primarily what you got to do is she manifested it because firstly, I could read it from her energy that she was all in. She was all in. She knew it that she has to get this. She, I could, 
I could sense it from her energy, okay? So, and she was all in. She just knew that she is going to get this. So, you have to be all in. You really have to think. Now, sit back and you may pause this video after I say this and then kind of uh, play it again. Sit back and think, what is it that your heart truly desires? What you are choosing to manifest, is that what your heart truly desires? If the answer is yes, then it is yours. It is yours. No questions asked. Nothing, nothing, nothing can stop you from getting your getting you your manifestation if you are completely aware of your mental diet if you're on top of your mental diet that does not necessarily mean that you will not have doubts creep in you will not feel confused at times you will not feel like okay is this even working all that is okay all that is okay that's completely fine but primarily the crux of it is you have to be aware of whatever you are thinking dominantly. Let me repeat this. You have to be aware of what you are thinking dominantly because your dominant thoughts, feelings will manifest. Always, 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 always. There are, I mean, that is it. That is it. So... Yes, I'm extremely happy. I'm always happy when my clients kind of uh, share their success stories, the movements, you know. So she got movement in less than two weeks of, uh, yeah, I think max three weeks of booking the coaching with me, the session with me. So, and you know, it's a boost for me as well, you know, because I know that, yes, I, gu I am kind of guiding, guiding you guys perfectly. I know, I know, I, I can feel it inside me that I, I know exactly where you're coming from and exactly what you should be thinking and I will tell you exactly what you should be thinking. Exactly what. Because that is that is the focus, right? You just hone, up, hone in on a reality that you choose for yourself with focus, constant focus. And tell yourself that if my heart truly desires this, this is mine. If my heart truly desires this, this is mine. And it will manifest, guys. It will manifest. So time is, is an illusion. I will probably talk about time in my next video. There, there is so much content that I'm really working on. So yeah, let's see. So that's it. I intend this really gives you a lot of positivity and shows you that this works. And this is again to prove that there is always movement if you are affirming the right things. There is always movement because she started affirming and obviously, I mean, it took some time for the person to show up the way she had imagined, even better than what she had imagined. You may also affirm something. I'll give you a very good affirmation. Like my manifestations show up better than I had imagined. My manifestations show up better than I had imagined. So loop it. Your higher self knows what to do. Your subconscious knows what to do. It's it's done. They know. They know how to kind of get it for you. They know it. You don't have to worry about how better it can be and what does it mean that it is going to come to you in a better version that you than you had imagined. It's not your concern. Just choose the right thoughts. Just choose the right thoughts and it's done. It's done. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I intend this helps you and gives you clarity on your path. And yeah, if you like my videos, please do remember, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please do remember to subscribe and share my videos because I really want this to reach as many as possible. Because everybody needs to understand their own power. The power of the human mind, which can create anything, uncreate anything and recreate anything. Anything. That's all. Do not forget your self-concept affirmations. Do not ever do that. Do not forget to have some very strong general umbrella affirmations because that has done wonders for me. That is going to do wonders for you. Wonders. Trust me on that. 
And of course, do not, do not, do not ever, ever, ever give up. Keep affirming. Happy manifesting. Bye.